Hello everyone and welcome to Teaching Natural. My name's Dara, I'm a fourth year high school English teacher, second year AVID teacher in SoCal or Southern California. And today's video is all about how I create my agenda slides. So let's get started. I start off in PowerPoint and under the design tab is where you'll be able to change the backgrounds of your slides. I click format background and go to solid fill I change the color to the color that I like. Now I use a hex code to get carnation pink and I have all of my hex codes for the colors I like for my classroom saved in an Excel spreadsheet. So I copy and paste the hex code that I like into PowerPoint, click OK, and that is the specific like carnation baby pink that I like. So then I insert a shape. And get the dimensions right. I then change the shape's fill color to white and make sure that it is a black line. So that gives it a really nice border. And I change the line width to make it a little bit thicker. Then I screenshot this slide to turn it into an image. Once I screenshot the image, it saves to my desktop. And now I have the image that I'm going to use as my background on Google Slides. Now I have saved all of my agenda slides into one folder. That way I don't have to continuously keep making these slides. I just name them and I have a slide image for title slides as well as for each day of the week. So then when you go to your agenda or your slideshow, whatever you're trying to make, you'll have a blank slide. You'll click background, choose image. You can upload an image from your computer, but I've already uploaded them to Google Drive just to make it easier on myself. I search the name of the image and it will pop up. I'll insert that, click done. And now I have my background slide and it won't move regardless of my text box. Now the font I like to use is Lily Bell and that is not a font that you can add to Google. So I always have to write whatever I'm going to write in PowerPoint and then copy and paste it. It becomes an image that I can move and resize as needed. Then I insert a text box and the font I like to use for all of my typing is Century Schoolbook. And I use 18 point font because that shows up really well on my projector. And so you can see once everything is all done, it's what an agenda slide will look like. And then how I link the agenda slides is that I click link and I have it linked to the next slide. That way all I have to do is move the day's slide up and then that becomes the next slide. I recommend make your starting template for each five days and then copy and paste those slides over and over and over again. That way you have your blank template for your weeks. And then I just move the slide up when I need it on that day. And it will always link to the slide.
So one thing that I learned from quarantine and distance learning teaching is to give students a week at a glance. I love this. So on top of my daily slides, I do this week at a glance and it makes my daily slides so much faster because I've already planned out where we're going for the entire week. I make the dimensions 16 by seven, which gives me enough space. I insert the background the same as always. And then I created a table to add all of the reminders as well as the bullet points. So the week at a glance is great for students who are athletes or who go on vacation a lot or happen to be absent a lot. They can see everything they need all at one point in time. And so I tell students, this is to help you with your organization. If you know you have a game or you know you have something coming up on Friday, you can check on Monday to see what is going on. And another thing from distance learning teaching is I got very good at uploading all resources for the week on Sunday by 5 p.m. So my students knew Sunday by 5 p.m. You can see all of your work. If you want to work on it early, totally fine. If you want to wait until the day we do it, again, totally fine. Having this helped parents and guardians stay on track of their student, as well as helping their student stay on track and manage their time well. So I'm just putting together the last finishing touches for this week. And you can see on the side, I already have the template for each week made. And that's sort of a deal I make with myself. Like Friday, I can leave when the bell rings if I at least have the week at a glance done for all of my classes because the daily agendas are basically just copy and pasting what's already on the week at a glance. And that was how I create my agenda slides using images and importing it into Google Slides. So if you have different ways that you create your agenda slides, leave it down below. I'm sure we would all benefit from your tips and your tricks. In the meantime and in between time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.